I'm Sarah Cleaver, I'm a chemical engineer originally from Grimsby and I now work for Philips 66 as a lead process engineer. So I basically lead a small team of chemical engineers and we look after about a third of the operating units at the Philips 66 Humber refinery, basically looking at the refinery, how it's running, making sure it's running safely and reliably. So at the refinery I've had a number of roles, one of the roles was sort of looking at the plant, trying to optimise it, get the best yields. I've also worked in the design group. As part of that, I worked on a $20 million project to design a crude oil desalter, basically removing salt and water from crude oil as it comes into the refinery. So that was a huge piece of kit to be involved with, and I was the process engineer responsible for that, so uh, that, was, that was a really good feeling. Obviously working at a refinery which is a live 24 hour operating plant, you can come in one morning and everything will be running great, you can come in the next morning and various things can have shut down, so you just need to sort of get stuck in and try and find out what's gone on. You also work with a huge variety of people from all different backgrounds who are doing a lot of different roles, so you know you need to be able to adapt and work with different groups. The advice I'd give to someone who was interested in a career in science and engineering would be definitely, definitely do it. Um, it's a fantastic thing to get yourself involved with and it's such a fantastic variety of work. You can go into multiple different industries, oil and gas similar to where I work, you can go into pharmaceuticals, the food industry, the opportunities are literally endless. So one of the main things is being a good problem solver. Um, a lot of what we do is analytical, looking at problems and trying to resolve them. There is a lot of maths involved, so that's definitely another key skill for engineering. So when I went to sixth form college, I chose to do maths, chemistry, physics and further maths, which are all really good subjects for getting into engineering. Um, from there, I went to the University of Nottingham, did a master's degree in chemical engineering. STEM qualifications, GCSEs, A-levels and right through to my degree have helped me get where I am now. I wouldn't have got this job without them and I use them every day in the job I do. Definitely worthwhile qualifications and I definitely recommend them to anyone who's good at those subjects and really enjoys them. When I moved away to university, I went to Nottingham, obviously moved away from the area and I must admit I didn't think I'd necessarily be coming back, but I did a placement here during my university degree, absolutely loved it. I realised that this is probably one of the best places to work in the oil and gas industry in the UK. Fantastic people, fantastic job, I'm incredibly pleased that I came back here.